God bless you and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth be unto you. Anyone hearing this message should know that only God and His Son Jesus Christ of Nazareth are worthy of your soul, no one else. Make your home a peaceful home. Be a peacemaker. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Keep loving. Never you hate. Hatred is not from God. Never you apply the law of discrimination because it's not from God. God instructs us to love. We must continue to love according to the instruction of the Most High God. My message today says, repent before it is too late, brothers. Repent before it is too late in your life. Before it is too late, repent. The word of God says repent. The word of God says repent before it is too late. The coming of Son of Man is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus is coming very soon. Repent from your sin. Be bold enough and come out and confess your sin. The word of God says even though your sin is darker than charcoal, I will forgive you. Repent from your wicked way. Repent from your evil way. Repent from stealing. Repent from doing evil. Repent from committing sin, from committing adultery, for committing fornication. The word of God shall repent. That the coming of Son of Man is at hand. That Jesus Christ of Nazareth is coming very soon. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. The word of God says repent. The children of God repent before it is too late. Before it is too late. Never you say tomorrow we repent. Never you say next morning we repent. Never you say next week I will repent. It may be too late. Next week may be too late to you. Tomorrow may be too late to you. The word of God says, next month may be too late to you. Next year may be too late to you. The word of God says, because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. What is going to happen tomorrow? You don't know what is going to happen next week, next month, next year. That is why today is the original day for you to repent. Today is a day God has made you to repent from your sin. God has made you to repent from your wicked way, to confess your sin, to confess your sin, but because the coming of Jesus is at all, the kingdom of God is at all, the word of God says repent. You who saying that tomorrow you will repent. Repent, false prophets. Prophetess, people that think that God did not see them. The word of God says, repent. Repent from your wicked way. Jesus is coming very soon. Before it's too late, Isaiah 55 and 6 to 7 says something. He said, turn to the Lord before it is too late. Some people will say, <laughs> I can repent at any time. No. <laughs> it may be too late for you, brother. <laughs> it may be too late. In the point of death, it may be too late. <laughs> it may be too late because you don't know whether you will live to see tomorrow. Because you don't know whether you will live to see next year. Because you don't know whether you will live to see next week. Because you don't know whether you will live to see next month. Anything can happen. The word of God says anything can happen at any time, any moment. That is why today is a great day. It's a original day. It's a great, uh, a great and golden day for you to repent from your sin. For you to give your life to Christ. For you to accept God as your Lord and your personal Savior. Repent from your jealousy. Repent from jealousy. Repent from gossip. Repent from betraying 
people. Repent from blackmailing people. Repent from placing a false accusation, a charge against people. The word of God said, repent from your sin. Before it's too late, Isaiah make it clear. Turn to the Lord. Turn to the Lord before it is too late. Come out to him. Come out to him why he still ready to help you call jesus why he still ready to help you call him why you still he's still ready to help you a day will come he will no more be ready to help you <laughs> Because there is nothing like help in the land of the dead. The word of God says it's ready to help you in the land of the living when you are living in the land of the living. The word of God said they will come. He will no longer be ready to help you. God is why you will repent. Call him why he's still ready to help you. He's still ready to forgive you. He's still ready to look upon you. He's still ready to have mercy. To have mercy. To cover your sin. To glory your sin. Call him when he's still ready to look upon you, rest into you, brothers and sisters, be sure, evangelists, apostles, reverend fathers and sisters, the word of God say, repent, repent, why? He's still ready to help you. When God can help you, repent. Act be sure. Pop repent. Repent. A day will come. It will be too late for you. It will be too late for you. The word of God say, I will be prophet. Repent. The word of God say, I will be prophetess. Repent. I will be every father and sisters. Repent. The word of God say, God and mercy up with the name of Jesus. Those are converting souls to the kingdom of darkness repent before it's too late. Repent before it's too late. The kingdom of God is at heart. Jesus is coming very soon. The word of God says, I am ready to answer you. I am ready to hear you. I am ready to hear your confession. I am ready to reach into your word now before it will be too late. A day will come, it will be late. I will never be ready for you. I will never be ready to help you. I will never be ready to support you. I will never be ready even to listen to you or forgive you. Thus say the Lord, that is what God let me know. The Spirit of God came to me. This early morning, he said to my son, preach my word. What are you doing, Pastor Melako? Go and tell the world that they should repent before it's too late. They should repent when I am ready to help them, when I am ready to listen to them to forgive them, that a day will come, I will no longer be ready for them. A day will come, it will be too late for them. Moko yata, rika kayete li papasuko yata. Jesus are knocking your door. The Son of God are knocking your door. The repentance of the living God are knocking your door. Don't be heartless. Don't allow anyone to deceive you. Make no mistake, brothers and sisters. Don't be deceived by any word. The word of God says, repent. Do not allow your pastor, your bishop to deceive you. Do not allow your friends to deceive you. Never you love your wife, your husband, your children, your mother, your brothers and sisters to deceive you by telling you that you can repent at any time. The word of God say it may be too late. The word of God say it may be too late. According to the book of Isaiah, 
The book of Isaiah say, Turn to the Lord before it. It is too late. Ready one who is evil, stop doing evil things. Ready one who still, stop stealing. Ready one who fornicates, stop fornication. Ready one who full of jealousy, reject jealousy. Ready one that gossip, reject gossip. Ready one that deceive, reject deceiving spirit. Ready one that you say prophetic deception to deceive people. Stop it. Ready one that the paying people arranging miracle, arranging prophetic war. Stop it. Ready one that call themselves. Stop it. Ready one that killing. Stop killing. Ready one that poison people. Stop poison people. Ready one that you to send attack low projecting low to the life of people. Stop it. Let the war that used to make people mad, that used to frustrate people. Stop it. That used to set people up. Should they stop it? Ready war that used to black many people stop it. That used to to discriminate. Stop it. Stop it. The word of God say, if you know what you are doing that is sinful, stop it and repent. Stop it and repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Jesus is coming very soon. It's coming very soon. The word of God shall repent before it will be too late. Repent, brothers and sisters. I am talking about those that are in evil. I am talking about those who thought that the Lord cannot see them. That the evil things and the secret things are seen. That no one is seen. It. The most high God is saying, I am the no one. Jesus is saying it. No one can hide his sin from God. No one can hide himself from God. That is the word of God to me in 1999. That I cannot hide myself or my sin from him. Because his eyes is upon every living soul. Body righteous and unrighteousness. The word of God shall repent. Repent. The kingdom of God is at all. What shall you profit a man to gain the world and lose his life? What shall you profit you to gain the world and lose your life? Brothers and sisters, repent. People are worshiping you, calling you pastor, calling you the name that's supposed to call God, and you think that what you are doing is good. The word of God says, repent. Jesus is coming very soon. It may be too late. It may be too late. The pillars of the world will die and appointed there. President will die. Governor will die. The word of God saving the senators, pastors will die. The word of God saving bishop will die and appointed time. Pope will die and appointed time. The word of God's apostle will die. Prophet and prophetess will die and appointed time. That is why nobody will live in this earth forever. The world is not our home. We are a stranger in this world. We came from the dust, and everyone will return back to the dust. That is why you must repent from your sin. You must stop to evil. You must stop your wickedness. You must stop your evil. The coming of Son of Man is Satan. As I say it again. In the book of Isaiah 55, verse 6 to 7, Isaiah say, and let him quit thinking evil thought. Those that thinking evil thought, those that heart is full of negative, should stop it. Stop thinking evil talk. Quit from it. Plotter, let your heart reject evil talk. Let your mind reject it. Your ear reject it. Sister, men of God, reject evil thought. The word of God so quit from it. It cannot help you. Repent from it. Repent. 
Jesus says that the kingdom of God is at her. I am coming very soon. Repent from your evil. Repent. Everyone can worship you. Everyone can call you a great man of God. A great woman of God. A great. A, some will call you Elijah. Some will call you John the Baptist of our own. But you know that you are a sinner. You know that you are not what they're calling you. That is why you should repent before it will be too late for you. The word of God said repent. Do not, do not be ashamed to repent. The word of God says swallow your pride. Swallow what people of the name people are calling you and repent. Swallow that pride. Nicodemus swallow his pride and repent. Isaiah swallow his pride and repent. The word of God said, why can't you swallow your pride? Why can't you swallow your pride? Paul swallow his pride and repent. Why can't you swallow your pride? Why can't you swallow that pride and repent? Repent before it is too late. Before it is too late. The word of God say, let him Turn to the Lord, peace from evil thought, and turn to the Lord, peace from evil, and turn to the Lord, peace from evil, and turn to the Lord, peace from, from fake miracle, and turn to the Lord, peace. From uh, from fake prophetic deception and turn to the Lord. Pick from anything called fake, anything called fake and turn to the Lord. Evil made anything called aduboroja. Aduboroja cannot help you. It can only destroy you. It can only lead you to hellfire. Fake can only lead you to hellfire. The word of God said, "Pick from him." Beat from it, beat from it, and repent. Give your life to Christ. If my people wake up by my day, we humble the serpent and pray and repent from the wicked way. Then we are here from heaven and forgive them and hear the law. Why can't you repent from your wicked way? Jesus Christ of Nazareth says, he says to me this morning, it will be too late. It will be too late for my children, for my children, for my servant on earth. He said that everyone will repent. The word of God say, when I had that word this morning, I was shaking and crying. Oh my God. The word of God say it may be too late. It may be too late. The coming of son of man is at all. Repent and give your life to Christ. Do not be deceived. Make no mistake, brother. Repent. And the word of God say in the book of Isaiah came. The Lord will show him his tender love. That when you repent, God will show you his love. He will show you his mercy. The most I can will show you his love. He will show you his mercy. Let him turn to our God. Let him turn to the, our God. He is always ready to forgive. The Lord is always ready to forgive. Jesus is always ready to forgive. Turn to the Lord. He will forgive you. Do not look upon your sin. Even though your sin is that kind of sacco, he is always ready to forgive. He will forgive your sin. Forget about how many people you have killed. Can you confess your sin? Come Forget about how many relationships, marriage you have destroyed. The word of God said, Remember not the former things or consider not the old things of the old. I am about to do a new thing. The word of God says, He's always ready to forgive. Forget about those who have taken their property. If you can be bold to confess your sin, if you can confess, God is going to do it. He's going to, if you can repent, do not think what we have happen to you when you confess. Do not think what will happen, whether they will jail you, whether they will kill you, whether they will stone you to death, whether your church will go down, whether your ministry will scatter, whether you will, you will be a plumber, whether you will turn to a beggar. If it is the will 
of God, let it be the will of God. But the most important thing is for you to repent. But the most important thing is for you to know that the kingdom of God is at hand. But the most important thing is for you to know that Jesus loves you. He is ready, always ready to forgive. To forgive. The heart is not, uh, is not heavy. He will forgive you. Forget about whether your beautiful wife will reject you when you confess your sin. Whether your children will abandon you. Whether your handsome man, husband will abandon you. Or your parents will disown you. It is better to disown you and abandon you than to die with your sin. It is better to disobey you and reject you. It's better you, you lose your wife than to die, die with your sin. It's better you lose your husband, you lose your children, you lose every member of your family, you lose your friends than to die with your sin. The word of God say repent. The coming of Son of Man is at her. It may be too late. But I want to tell you what happened to the children of Israelite in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 7 to 12. And uh, you go to verse 12. Again. The word of God said, the people of Israel, Israel openly confess their sins to God. <laughs> they openly confess their sins to the most cycle. <laughs> but it comes too late to have a positive effect on the future. It comes too late. God is not listening to it. God it is not willing to answer, to forgive them. <laughs> Your prayer, your, your confession may come too late. <laughs> you will ask why. <laughs> I will read the word of God in Jeremiah down to you. <laughs> the word of God say it come too late. Let's read Jeremiah 14, verse 7 to 12. <laughs> Although our sin is fight against us, that is what the children of Israel, the people of Israel, that is the word, the word that are speaking to the most high God, that are talking to God when they discover that their sin are uh, speaking against them, testifying against them, they say to God in the prayer, in the open confession, although our sin is fight against us, do something, Lord, for the sake of your name. For we have often repaired, we have sinned against you, you who are the hope of Israel. It is saviors in times of disgrace. Why are you like a stranger in the land? Why are you like a stranger in the land? Like a traveler who stays only a night? Why are you like a man taken by surprise? Like a warrior, powerless to save, you are among us, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, and we bear your day. Do not forsake us. This is what the Lord said, says about these people. Gazianti, <laughs> listen to what the Lord says after they confess their sin, after they present their sin to the Lord. The word of God says it comes too late <laughs> to the ears of God to hear. Your own can come too late. This is what the Lord says about these people. They greatly love to wander, love, love to walk in a land like a Satan, love to taste every food they see, love to sin against me, love to turn back to me. They love to be a prostitute. They love to be an idol worshiper. They love to do what, whatever they like. They never listen to me. Whenever I give them instruction to carry, they carry their own instruction. They go, oh, they will tell you it is the Spirit of God. What the Spirit and Satanic Spirit tell them, they will tell you it is the Spirit of God. The vision of devil and the, and the, Forminating vision that will tell you that is the spirit of God. And the word of God said that is what they like. They like to show people that they have power, that they have power, that they are the son of Christ, why they are not the son of Christ. They love to do evil. They love to be stubborn. They love to be so bitter. They love to 
be heartless. The word of God say they love those things and reject my word. They do not reject me or they did not hold back their feet. They did not hold back their feet and their thought. They don't think twice. They serve idol. They serve abara. They serve ungu. Oh hiraya wadodo. Oh kike. They do evil day and night. They never hold back their feet. They never keep back their feet. Don't think twice. Then to know that the living God loves them and the word of God says so. The Lord does not accept them. The Lord does not accept the prayer. It is too late. Your own may be late. Your own confession may be late. Yeah? Because you people used to deceive yourself. The word of God says it may be too late. It may be too late. It may be too late. And the word of God says, so the Lord does not accept them. He will now remember their wickedness and punish them for the sea. Then the Lord said to me, do not pray for the well-being of these people. Hey! Erinthiata, do not pray for the well-being of these people. For the well-being of these people, it is too late, my son. The word of God say, it is too late. Stop praying for them. The sin and the confession, the confession is too late. The prayer is too late. The prayer, I will no longer forgive them. I will no longer accept the prayer. I will no longer call them my sons and my daughter. That belongs to devil. That belongs to hellfire. Do not allow such a thing to happen to you in your own generation. Never you allow such a thing to happen to you. Pastor, bishop, evangelist, pope, eh, apostle, do not allow reverend, sister, do not allow such thing to happen to you. Children of the living God, it may be your own turn. Your own turn. It may be too late in your own turn. It may be too late. Repent now. Give your life to cry. Confess your sin now. It may be too late. The word of God says, no repentance in the land of the dead. Many will die tomorrow. Many will die next week. Many will die in hours to call. In four hours to call. Many will die in hours to call. Many will die next year. Many will die to this year. More. Many will die this year. It may be too late. Confess your sin. It may be too late. The word of God said, He said to man of God, Do not play. Do not play for the well-being of these people. Although they fast, although they fast and humble themselves, but now it's too late. I am not going to listen to them. I am not going to listen to them. The word of God says, I will not listen to their cry anymore. It's because their cry is a colloquial cry. I will no longer listen to their cry anymore. I will no longer listen to their prayer. I will no longer forgive them. It is too late. Satan has succeeded in their life. Satan has prepared a place in the hellfire for them. The word of God say it may be too late in your turn. The word of God say I will not listen to the cry. Although the offer burning offering and gain offerings, I will not accept them. Instead, I will destroy them with the sword. I will destroy them with the sword. Instead, I will destroy them with the sword. I will destroy them with accident. Instead, I will destroy them with the disease and sickness, with stroke. Instead, I will destroy them with shame. I will destroy them with cancer, once a caterpillar, with wolf. I will destroy them. I will no longer listen to their cry. I will no longer accept their prayer. I will no longer longer call them my sons and my daughter because they are stubborn. 
to repent when I want them to repent. When I am ready to help them, they are heartless to repent. They are heartless, disobedient to repent. When I am ready to help them, when I am ready to forgive them, when I am ready to wipe away their sin, to bring them back to me, when I'm ready to cover their sin, they rejected me, they turn back to me, they forsake me. Now, I will no longer rest into their cloud. I will no longer forgive them. I will no longer call them my son. They belong to the sons and the daughters of devil. No more the sons and the daughters of the living God. Brother, it may be too late. It may be too late. It may be too late. Even verse 20 say, they said to God in verse 20, we acknowledge our wickedness. You see, but God is not resting. You will acknowledge to talk about you who have not acknowledged your wickedness, who have not known that what you are doing is evil, who have not known that sin is sin, who have not known that what you are doing is evil. These people, the people of Israel, acknowledge their wickedness, but God is not resting to them. The word of God says, we acknowledge our wickedness, Lord, the guilty of our ancestors. We have indeed sinned sinned against you. Even they accept the, the sin, the guilty of the ancestors, and are said to be a sinner. But God never, God never received to death. It is too late. It may be too late to you. So, why can't you repent? It may be too late. Eh? I need to go far. <laughs> Ane tu gafa, comedians ane ble, ane a support you ne promote to. All the comedians will be promoting your evil all over the world. All the medias will be promoting your evil, supporting you instead of you to repent. It may be too late. <laughs> it may be too late. The word of God said comedians, it may be too late. The word of God said influencers, it may be too late. The word of God said the weak, it may be too late. It may be too late. Repent. Change your way. Stop promoting evil. Stop doing evil. Reject the money. Reject the money. Stop arranging. Stop the use as an instrument of the devil to accept the money and you will come to church and perform. You will come to church and perform like a cripple, like a madman, like a blind man or woman. Stop those things. It is abomination in the sight of God. Repent. Stop giving false, false and fake testimony and thanksgiving. Stop it. It is a abomination in the sight of God. Repent. It may be too late. 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 And when it's too late, it's too late. Repent and give your life to Christ. Repent from your wicked way. Repent from your sin. Repent from your wicked way. Don't use the church of God as a gambling. Don't use the name of Jesus to gamble. Don't use it as a gambling. Don't play with the name. The word of God said, respect him. Repent. It may be too late to you, brother. No one knows what is going to happen. When the word of God came to me this morning, he said, tell my children that they should repent from the evil. That those that are doing evil should stop doing evil. Those that are doing evil stop doing evil. Repent from the wicked ways, from the wicked thoughts, from the negative thoughts, from the evil, from the charm, from the wicked ways. Because it may be too late for them. When my ears close, nobody can open it. When my eyes close, nobody can open it. May my mouth shut that I cannot speak it to them again. Nobody. May my heart block against them. No more mercy. No more forgiveness. No more reconciling spirits. 
I sent my son Jesus into the world to die for your sin, for you to repent, for you to know that the coming of Son of Man is at hand, that the kingdom of God is at hand, for you to change from your wicked way, but you still harden your heart, you still blocking your heart, you still challenging me, you still turn to be an antichrist. Who criticize Christ? Who criticize who called God? Who called Christ a scam? Who called Jesus a fake? Why Jesus never fake you? Jesus never scam you. You never see Jesus. You still criticizing me. You still talking a lot of things against me. Because people are using my name to scam people. Why can't you tell them to stop using my name to scam people? Why can't you caution them and you leave them? You are talking, talking to, that Jesus cannot do anything. The word of God says it may be too late. If you don't repent now, if you don't repent now, it may be too late. It may be too late. Tell your pastor to repent, be bold enough. Be brave enough, don't be afraid of pastor. Whether you told you that he, he said, Jima Jesus, whether you said he told you that he, he came from the third heaven or anywhere, anywhere he can, the word of God said, don't be afraid of him. Don't be afraid of her. Be bold enough, tell pastor, repent. It may be too late to you. Tell the prophet and prophetess that used to give you vision to repent because it may be too late for her or him. Tell the bishop, repent now before it's too late for him. Tell Pope, Pope that have millions of followers to repent before it will be too late for him. Tell them to repent. The coming of Son of Man is at all. The kingdom of God is at all. Repent. Repent from your sin. Change from your wicked way. Today is your day. Original day to repent before it will be too late. 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 Be too late. The coming of Son of Man is at all. Jesus is coming very soon. Repent. Give your life to Christ. Accept Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. It shall be well with you. Let this message bear fruit in your life and let the fruit abide forever. Let this message help you to bear a good fruit and to stop all the evil you are doing and to repent from your wicked way and have a free course in your life to direct you and to connect you to the kingdom of God and to help you to establish the salvation of the living God in your life. Anyone that hearing this message should know that only God and His Son Jesus Christ of Nazareth are worthy of your soul, no one else. No one else. Only Jesus and His Father are worthy of your souls. Help those who need your help. Listen to those who want you to listen to them. Be your brother's keeper. Always make yourself available to be a, become an instrument of the living God. Remember, anyone that died without the salvation of God will never secure a place in the kingdom of God. His soul will never rest. So you need this. You need to secure the salvation of God before you die. But it, for me, it's a choice and decision you have to make, make for yourself. I cannot force you. The word of God says you can force horses to the stream, but you cannot force horses to drink through the stream. My mission is to preach the gospel to you, not to force you to receive salvation of the living God. But the truth is what I own you, and I will continue saying the truth, whether you like it or not, whether you love me or not. The truth is for you to repent, for you to secure the salvation of God, and repentance before you die. Because nothing like the salvation and repentance in the land of the dead. Repentance and salvation of the living God are made for the living, not for the dead. If you don't secure the salvation of God before you die, nothing will make your soul to less in peace. I tell you the truth. No amount of prayer, the mind and giant man of God, or woman of God, or reverend father or bishop, 
But if Pope come to your barrier, my brother, no prayer of Pope can make you to rest in peace. No prayer can make you to secure the kingdom of God. No. You end in pieces and you will end in fire. So if you want to your soul to rest in peace, if you want to secure the kingdom of God, repent and accept Jesus. Keep away from evil. Stop doing evil. Accept good. Do what is good. And change from evil ways. And repent and give your life to Christ. God bless you. And God bless every world who listen to this message and accept it. It shall be well with you. God bless you.